Matt, thank you so much. Uh, good morning to everybody, and I can't imagine uh, a better day to uh, to be in Western North Carolina and open up the uh, the fair tomorrow. And this will be the best in the West. Uh, this is a, such an enjoyable fair, and, and the weather is so enjoyable this time of year. I can't imagine that people in North Carolina would be anywhere but here. Uh, it takes many months of preparation to put on a fair, as we well know with the Mountain State Fair and the State Fair. And we focus a lot on safety and security at these events, and, I, and there's a reason for that. Uh, you know, with, with everything that goes on uh, in everyday life, we want to make sure that people come out and enjoy this fair and know that they're safe. Well, hey! Boy, it's an honor and a pleasure to be here today. What a beautiful, gorgeous day in western North Carolina. And, you know, this is an outstanding event, and our guys from the Department of Labor who inspect these rides have been here since Tuesday making sure that every single ride is safe for the public to enjoy. Now, folks, you may not know this, but in North Carolina, we have something called the 100% rule. And that means that no ride can operate unless it's 100% in compliance with the manufacturer's specifications to operate. So today we still have nine rides that are left to be certified and they'll be done today. So all the rides will be available to the public when the fair opens tomorrow. I'm so proud of the folks at the North Carolina Department of Labor and they're all here with me. Thank you guys. They do an outstanding job. We have the best, most stringent ride inspection program in the nation. And it's hard to believe, but there's some states that don't even inspect their rides. But North Carolina is a model for the rest of the country. And it's interesting that Tennessee is one of those states that has no inspection program. And they've been mentoring with our people here in North Carolina because our program is so outstanding. All of the rides are fun to enjoy, and that mind blaster... I heard about that one. I haven't seen it operate yet, but I believe it's going to be a thrill for everybody to enjoy. We started this year a new program with our fair operators, and it's called the North Carolina Safety Amusement Star. The fairs participate in this program with the Department of Labor, and they go over, above, and beyond what's required of them to protect the public when they're enjoying these amusement devices. All right. Shoot. So, uh, how many people do you expect this year? Well, last year we uh, were at 187,000 plus, and we'd love to be on top of that this year. Uh, we set four individual record days last year, plus an overall record. Um, our goal is to reach the 200,000 mark, and that's really what we're shooting for. So, uh, what is the process again about how did you guys start inspecting this week and how the inspections have been going? Inspections are going great. Uh, Play World Amusements is an outstanding company to work with. We started on Tuesday inspecting the rides and have had six people here during the week to make sure that they're all certified and ready to go tomorrow when the fair opens. Currently, there are nine rides that are still in the process of being inspected, but we expect to have those done this afternoon. If uh, these rides are not safe enough, in uh, the Labor Department's opinion, for me to put my granddaughter on, I don't want them open. And they do not let them open. 